quickly especially right now as we see Megan is peddling her lies more than ever before and becoming so desperate this bombshell this information is something that is going to destroy her credibility the way it never did what am I talking about is what we will discuss in this video. Before I move on, just to remind you, most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're one of them, consider subscribing. Let's take a look at this particular article and then we go from there. Former Meghan Markle aide breaks silence on bullying allegations, claims staff quit on her. Wow, people working for the monarchy, the most prestigious institution in the world, are quitting because of this one bully. This bullying was so bad. Meghan Markle's former royal aide, Samantha Cohen, she finally confirmed that she was one of the 10 royal staffers to be interviewed in Buckingham Palace's investigation into bullying accusations leveled against the Duchess of Sausages. Cohen worked for the royal family since 2001 and was Markle's private secretary in 21 when the first complaint was made that the former suits star created hostile work environment. There are two things you have to understand here. Number one is that this is a person who worked for the monarchy as a staffer for a very, very long time, since 2001 until 2021. And number two thing you have to also understand here is that this individual is, the, or was, I should say, the private secretary of none other than Meghan Markle, the Maxilla. Although she would not elaborate in an interview with the Australian newspaper, The Herald's son, Cohen and Aussie, told the outlet Monday, quote, I was only supposed to stay for six months, but stayed for 18. We could not find a replacement for me, and when we did, we took them on tour to Africa with, the, with Harry and Meghan to show them the ropes, but they left or quit as well while in Africa. Can you imagine this was a huge opportunity for those new hire, for those new staffers? Because going to Africa with the royals, at that time they were royals. And even after all of these things, I mean, these are all paid up tri trip. These are not to be something that you should be worried. You just go on a you know, jet or something like that. Expensive, expensive trips because these trips, they cost million. So people who are on board on this kind of trip, they are being treated like royals too because they are from the royals. Meghan Markle attends the final day of the one year to go event before the Invictus came. So let's read a little bit here and then I will show you some comments coming from you guys. So the post has... Content reps for uh, Megan and Buckingham Palace to comment, but obviously they did not get any um, news or any comment from them. The allegations came just days before Megan and Harry sat down for their bombshell tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which the American Orchard Rivera founder claimed life in the royal family was, quote, almost unsurvivable. In other words, it was actually unsurvivable for those staffers because they were quitting. Meghan Markle did not quit. Meghan Markle did not say, okay, I don't need these titles. I don't have anything to do with the royal family. Who were the people who said, I'm going to quit because it is too much? It was the staffers, not Meghan Markle. She still wants to hold on to her titles. So no, Meghan was not feeling I was unsurvivable. No, it was the other way around. It was the staffers. The HR review was privately funded by Queen Elizabeth and carried out by an independent investigator in March of 21 after two royal staffers alleged they had been bullied while working for her. Marcos' legal team denied any allegations of bullying, obviously, <laughs> calling them a calculated smear campaign. Allegations included Meghan Markle, her assistants, cry and treating others so badly they quit they were crying they were sobbing they were like oh my god why did i even take this job can you imagine working for the royal family and feeling that way it is it is very very telling it, it exposes someone's character how toxic that person is that these staffers they could not work for her the investigation concluded in june of 22 and while senior royal aide claimed the findings resulted in changes, they also said the findings won't ever be made public. That is something the you know the, the palace is 
protecting. This is how they are protecting Meghan Markle's reputation. Because think about this: if the palace wanted, if the monarchy wanted to trash Meghan Markle, they had this big opportunity right then and there. I, I personally believe that the king or the queen that time should have taken that advantage, made all of these allegations public, and expose Meghan Markle's two face, a true character. But obviously that did not happen. So the review has been completed and recommendations on our policies and procedures have been taken forward. Michael Stevens, the Queen's treasurer, said during a briefing at the time, but we will not be commenting further. I think, quote, the objectives have been satisfied because lessons have been learned, quote unquote, a senior royal source added. Elsewhere in Cohen's Herald Sun interview, she claimed the Queen, the late Queen, had no ego yet loved it when things went wrong well no because the queen was very much good at handling uh, this kind of issues this kind of problem now i want to share with you something else here uh, because i think you, you it is important uh, and, and it will be very very interesting for you to have a take a look so these are some of the comments um, that um, was posted on my channel when this uh, bullying allegation was discussed um, so uh, why would one of them commented why would her uh, why would we allow her in GB, let alone Ken Kensington? Uh, Kensington, she only causes grief. Ban her. Period. I thought this was a done deal. And obviously, that did not happen. I'm sure another person she wrote, um, Janet. Um, I, I'm sure Princess Catherine had a huge say uh, in not having this creature anywhere near her or her children. Who on earth could blame her? Not only the staffers who were bullied, she even bullied little Princess Charlotte. Good for William. He is very protective of his wonderful family. I mean, I have also reported on this, you know, the Meghan Markle bullying uh, Princess Charlotte. And uh, this video wa was uh, really wa going viral at that time. And uh, rightly so, because people were freaking out how could this uh, woman you know who is uh, almost going to be a, a grandmother she is a grandmother figure because she's so old would bully a little child like charlotte um, and this is uh, uh, something that we still do not know the answer um, so then a, another person she wrote uh, markle attended the beyonce concert again the following night and managed to get a photo with Kelly, uh, desperate stuff, totally embarrassing, no one is interested in her. Then I have another comment coming from you guys, um, Magnet dancing looks like uh, Elaine from Seinfeld, dancing only Magnus uh, is worse. <laughs> so again, people are calling her out and these um, are uh, comments uh, that came in in the context of the bully allegation that I have reported on earlier uh, last year I think it was in 2022 I don't, I don't remember when I posted that video but guys not looking good for Meghan Markle uh, right now she d does need good publicity because her brand American Riviera Orchard Dirt Skirt and if these people are speaking out and they should these staffers um, then it will only make it even worse for her. I have some comments here. Uh, Tanya, uh, hi Tanya, good afternoon. Uh, Karen, Gracie, Jane, thank you guys for your comments. Um, if you have any more, Sandy, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Karen, Beth, thank you Beth for your support. Gracie, Jane, I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care.